All right, everybody, welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're going to do things a little bit differently than we normally do. I just figured out how to record properly, so we're going to start playthroughs and getting that kind of stuff going here on the channel. Um, so we've got this game that just recently came up for free on my stuff. It's called For the King. Uh, I had started an early recording trying to do a playthrough and had issues with the recording so we should go ahead and start a new game. Uh, there's lots of different game modes here. There's different difficulties. We'll just start with the top one here for the game. Um, as you can see, like, uh, on the bottom right, it gives you different... different payouts and such for, uh, you know, negatives, bonuses, depending on the difficulty you play. Uh, there's a lot of different character classes, actually, we'll back out here and kind of take a look. Uh, this isn't meant to be played through just once, you can play through it several times. Uh, you'll see in the top right I have things that can unlock here. Let's see if we really unlocked anything new. doesn't look like it. Alright, so we'll just jump in here. As I said, we'll be doing a playthrough of this probably about a half hour a day just to start and we'll see where we end up. Uh, so as you can see, we got Tristan, Aethel, and Silas. They each have their own classes. You can customize them a little bit here. Uh, but I'm actually... Alright with how they are, so we'll just go ahead and jump in. Alright, good King Brawner has been slain. The once peaceful kingdom of Farrell was being corrupted by wild chaos energy and ravaged by monsters and bandits. So it looks like this is our opening dialogue. We'll just go ahead and skip through that. We'll we'll catch up to most of it. But all we really need to know is that the king is dead. Says, first the wizard Vexor vanishes, then my own husband was slain in his palace. You may be the last hope of Feral. I don't know if that's actually how you pronounce it. That's uh, what we're going to go with today. Alright. <clears throat> so as you can see the map here, it's giving us our first quest. Alright, seek out to fill the grant. In Wood Smoke you will be told how best to aid our efforts. Your quest has begun. Strive against this chaos, lest our realm be consumed by it. Alright, so as you can see the map, we got Tristane. Now, this game is a little bit different. You have chances to roll, and pretty much everything you do. Uh, movement is one of those that's not based by it, so let's see here. We have a hag, and you can pull up, there's a whole list of information here to be read through. Well, like I said, I've played about six or seven campaigns now, and it's the quests are all the same, it's just the layout of the map. So we'll jump right into combat now. You can fight. Obviously, anything that's on the red tiles will be allowed into the battle map. So as you see on the left there, we have all the characters that are in my company will be going. And then on the right, we're just fighting the hag. So if there were other characters, we'd be able to use our focus, which is going to be something we'll get to in just a little bit. But for now, we'll just kind of jump on into the fight and check this out. <coughs> now again, each character has a chance to roll. Uh, so for instance, we're using A4 right now, she's got the option to flee, standard attack, or snipe shot, we'll just do a standard attack here. And each character, they have different abilities, for instance, Tristan, the blacksmith, so he's going to focus more on strength and physical attack. Aethel's going to be a hunter, so it's going to be more like bows and that kind of stuff. Alright, so we'll just slowly head down this way. So we got 
got a plus two movement there. It's the night nice day. You know, sometimes you get things like that. Sometimes you see you will have negative things happen on the map as well. So it just kind of depends. It depends how lucky you are, I suppose. So, Alright, April's got full movement. So see, all right, so now we'll get to the focus here. So we can use focus. Focus is going to be above the character uh, boards there. And there's a little yellow hexagon. And there's a number of ways you can get that back. But we will just 100% this. All right, we've got some cave mushrooms. We'll just continue on forward. Alright, he also got a full move. Uh, now as you'll see there's things on the map, we got these towers, statues, we've got, this is going to be like a night shop. Uh, but we'll, we'll check these out as we progress through the game. Alright, Tristan, tell you what, we will go attack here. <coughs> well, also, everybody's attack depends on what they're using. <coughs> Excuse me, for instance, Eiffel here is using just a regular standard bow. If we were to go to a, uh, like a hunting bow, or uh, there's even a druid bow that you can get further on down the line. It would change the attacks. We'll see if I can get. We'll see if I can get some weapons that we can really kind of show you the different gear in just a minute. Found the black well, home of the royal Level two? No, we're not gonna do that. So the levels are also on the character board there. There's gonna be the blue zero on the bottom left of everybody's picture. Now there's a lot, I mean there's a lot going on here. Uh, we'll just kind of start with the enemies. We'll start with this Beastman Warrior on the left. Now he's got 9 health of 2 at the underneath his health there is his resistance, or, or rather his armor, his physical armor. <coughs> And as you see on my character sheets, they also have a blue uh, blue shield denoting their physical armor. The purplish is going to be their magical armor, and then the green is going to be their agility. That should have been 10, but he's got two physical armor, so quick math there. Shield here. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. So 
as you can see on the one we currently have equipped, we got plus one armor, and then we get the skill enemy taunt. Whereas this new one has two resistance and still has the enemy taunt. So we can just equip that. All right, we got a new bow. And same thing here. We've got shot, snipe shot, and pin down now, as opposed to just having snipe shot. <coughs> we also get another oh. 5% against flying, and we've got support, so we'll go ahead and click that. Alright, let's keep it moving, gotta get the wood smoke. Now on the very top of the screen there, you'll see it's a chaos meter, and as chaos grows, it's going to make our journey more and more difficult. It can range from giving the enemy extra health to straight giving us debuff. Always good to see new faces join the quest. I am Hilda Brandt, Queen's agent overseeing things, the Guardian Forest. Things are bad here. Real bad. All signs point to some evil folk who have locked themselves away in the glittering mine. I'll work on getting you down there. In the meantime, a strange contraption has been spotted. Go investigate. And some angry folks and fancy robes that made themselves right at home. Let's prepare for a good fight. Alright. So we can do this in any order. Alright, so we've got wood smoke here. And you get a list of quests that you can do. They also have a market so you can buy and sell. We won't really take a look at that right now. We'll come at that some other time. And then they have services, healing services, for you to get uh, your health back, but also in order to get some of your focus points back. Alright, but we will go ahead and check the quest. Pick up the love letter. Perfect, that's what we want. Try to shut this down and see what happens. Now we can use focus perfect, we'll just 100% that. No need to take any chances there. Now we can get rid of some chaos, we can add a life. Life is the hearts that you see at the very top of the screen, just to the right of center there. Every time one of your characters die, you can use the life to respawn them. When you run out of lives, you can use experience to respawn them back at the city. Uh, it does get pretty pricey, so we'll get rid of some chaos. Kind of knock that off. Get an easy quick point there. Alright, so we already got one level up. We will keep moving Silas here. Try to get him to the next zone. Same thing as Tristan, we'll just keep it moving. And so we have a dark carnival here. Those you need tickets, and then you'll play games that primarily have a bad outcome. Uh, there are, sometimes you get lucky rolls. Alright, so we'll go back to wood smoke. Boom. Alright, no more quests right now, we'll just kind of chill out on that. And we'll catch painful back up to the rest of the group here. Alright, silence, are we good to attack? Yeah, we are good to attack. Perfect. You have stumbled upon Dark Cave. Many dungeons are short but cannot be escaped until they are cleared. Uh, I think we will just go ahead and skip that for now. We might come back as soon as we defeat this chaos later. 
Uh, also, if we ambush him, we have a chance to do extra attacks if, if we successfully ambush. Thirteen, that guy hits kind of hard. Tell you what, we're gonna ignore your armor. Get that. Part of the animation here, you can also kind of speed them up. So, let's take a look here. Let's just run through it real fast. But I do like all the animations. It's, it's simple and yet it's still, uh, still really well put together. Now when you loot, you can share, collect, discard, however you'd like to do it, and any one of your characters are available. Alright, the lore. This is what allows you to unlock any anything from characters to weapons to little events that you can get on the map. We'll Party resistance for an iron foil hat, that's right. Got to uh, keep them from getting into your brain pan. <laughs> Perfect. That's why I've never seen this little hat. Played like I said, played six or seven places. And, uh, not playthroughs. I'm sorry. I've played through about six or seven campaigns. Just trying to learn the game. Alright, this one messed me up the death certificate. As I was doing my last playthrough, I actually, the first, uh, the first recording that I had messed up, it contained there's some interesting little dialogue about the death certificate. Apparently this guy that we're taking to is tired of making them. You'll also see that little question mark there. There are little events that pop up like that. They're sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. It just uh, we'll find out. Here we are. You never know what you might find on the roadside if you just keep your eyes open. All right, well, I think there we are. We're all good. Uh, we will go ahead and collect that. We'll probably get that to Tristan. Now, giving things is a little interesting here. We can move back. You have to be on the same tile. But it's just a matter of going to the item and then giving it away. But now I can't equip that until I am Tristan again. We'll make our way up here. Tristan does not have a big brain. I'm sorry, buddy. Tired of writing anything. Okay. Here's something for your trouble.
Alright, we can take all that. can't attack me with my tinfoil hat. Everybody's aware of that. On my first recording, I wasn't paying attention, went for a random roll, and character died. That's definitely a first for me. Get that. and resist the a little bit about that. 
Uh, each sometimes caves have several floors. If you see at the end of this, it goes to one, two. But there will be several things to do here. No, I'll just uh, tell you what we'll do. Then. We'll see what he's got. More mushrooms. Oh, these are safe, though, it looks like. That's a little odd that he would be dead at the safe mushrooms. I know if I approach somebody and they were hunched over and dead over some mushrooms, I would... Those would be the mushrooms I did not touch, right? I was hoping we could find some more weapons in here to be shown to you. Oh no, no, no. Oh, he died. That's fine, we'll show you how that works too. Hopefully this guy doesn't die as well. So we'll revive him. That cost one of our lives. But now, let's see, we'll heal ourselves. To Silas. And we're ready for that match. opportunity to drop one of our tents. I don't really like that. We'll just collect it. So we should have an opportunity to full heal in just a second. Yeah, we'll go ahead and have the party left. Alright, we're ready to go. Oh man, I was hoping to kill that goblin shot. So we got 
let's level up. Perfect. Evasion, alright, Ankle, that's gonna be you there. Awareness, speed, evasion, armor, yeah, that's gonna be Ankle for now. Silas, you know the deal. There you go. Try to force door A for the top. Try to 15, which is good. And I wonder if this is the boss. If it is, we'll get through this and then we'll uh, end this episode. And it looks like it is. Chaos Priestess. No one will ever know what happened to you down here. Only that you failed your miserable quest. Give my friend some evasion there. Got all kinds of goodies out of this. Just ready up and let's go. We have a trip. 
damage minus two. What the devil? Whatever you did down there is dispelled a massive illusion over the sea. That tower can only be the last gateway to the sanctum of chaos. I thought it was just a myth. You have revealed my tower, but you know not how to reach it or what it portends. Villain, surrender yourself and end this madness lest you tempt my wrath. That voice. Alright, so we gotta go to Parid, the Golden Plains with all haste. But like I said, we're, we're at the end of the stream, so we're gonna go ahead and call this the end of the episode. I wanted to thank you for your time, and have a good day.